Hello guys, welcome back to blackbronze.com and today I'm going to show you how to do dynamic bubble in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. Here I get basic shape of bottles which is you can download this bottle from link that I provide in my description. First you need to apply displacer effector so select cylinder under effector select displacer don't forget to hold shift to make it automatic apply under shading tab you can choose under shader you need to select noise okay next you need to select cylinder and then we need to apply polygon reduction you need to hold out to make it automatically apply okay for reduction strength you need to reduce it to 45% okay here's some trick you need to select displacer you need to change the fall off from infinite to cylinder okay I scale it a little bit to make sure it cover my bottles for fall off I reduce it to zero okay make sure you only cover for this down line here and then go beyond from this line Let's duplicate this displacer by hold control and drag it. Okay, this time you just cover for the top area only. Okay. Perfect. Let's flatten our mesh. Select polygon regression, right click and select current state to object. We need to hide this original mesh here. Okay. Let's go to edge mode. You need to select all the edges under the select menu. You need to set selection for these edges. Okay. Now you can apply subdivide for this bottle. Select cylinder and then hold alt and then click subdivide surface. So it automatically apply. Under subdivide division, you just need to set to one for the subdivide. Let's flatten this object. Right click select current state to object okay now you can hide the original object okay let's click back our save selection and we need to dissolve these edges by hit mn for a shortcut okay Let's extrude our faces here by hit MS. You need to untick preserve group. Okay. For offset, I set to 3. And extrusion just set it to 0. Okay. We need to split our selection faces and the structure line here by hit up and then hit delete so it will split our faces and the structure line you can see here so you get two basic shape here the structure line and the for the inner 
let's add some thickness for our structure line go to face mode okay we need to extrude it by hit d i set offset for this one is 0 0.5 okay let's extrude again this time i set to 1.5 okay last one you need to bevel it by hit ms <clears throat> you need to take preserve groups okay and offset you need to set 1.5 Perfect. Let's subdivide our structure line by select this object, go to subdivide and hold Alt to make it automatically apply. Set subdivide editor to 3. Okay, let's look better here. Here also you need to apply subdivide for our inner. And don't forget to hold Alt to make it automatic apply. And set to 3 for subdivision editor. Now we have a basic shape of bottle here. Now it's time to animate our bubble. Select any object. And then let's apply more extrude. Under more graph menu. You can find more extrude here and hold alt sorry hold shift to make it automatic apply okay go to more extrude under the object you can see extrusion step here just set it to one only okay now it look better next we need to apply plan effector select more extrude under more graph effector plane effector need to hold shift to make it automatic apply okay this is the wrong direction select plan effector you need to change the direction from y to z okay here you can see some weird line here but don't worry just go to font tag and then you just untick angle limit now it's gone okay under the plane effector you need to change fall off from infinite to cylinder okay move a little bit to here Okay. For spline here, let's use some preset. Right click here. Under spline preset, select square. Okay. For fall off, I increase a little bit to 70%. Oh, I think 50 is better. I stick with 70% okay so now you can apply spline circle change the plane direction to SZ move it to the middle okay now you can apply some tag. Select plane effector, right click under cinema 40 text and then select align to spline. Okay, let's apply our circle here. Here I think I need to scale down our circle. I think it's time to animate our dynamic bubble here. Go to align to spline tag 
and then go to frame 0 position frame 0 is 0 percent and then I go to frame 35 I set to 100 percent okay for this whole project I just set to 50 frame only okay now is loop okay I think we need to animate the amount of bubble here go to under spline effector and effector tab go to frame 0 for the string I set to 0% go to frame 10 and then I set string to 100% same goes to frame 30 I set again 100% and frame 35 I increase it sorry I reduce it to 0% okay let's apply some jiggle here you need to select more as root go to Effector menu here. You need to select Jiggle, but this time you need to hold Control. Okay, I think the Jiggle is too much. Under the stiffness, you need to set 100%. Structural set to 0, and then in drag, you need to set to 30% only. Yeah, I think it's look better, yeah. For the last one, I think I would like to apply some sphere for each interfaces, yeah. So, select sphere. I set to radius 4. Let's apply cloner. Okay, just put sphere under cloner setting here. We change mode linear to object. Okay, for the object, we just apply inner object. Okay. For this region, I change to polygon center. Right now, you need to disable jiggle plane effector more extrude subdivision for our inner. Okay. And then you can select cloner, sphere, and inner. Then you can go to solo for this object. Okay. Select inner object. Go to face mode. We need to deselect this bottom faces here. Okay, you need to save this selection by go to select and then set selection. Let's unsolo all the object. You need to go back to under corner. Okay, you can notice that here get selection. Just drag it our previous selection. Okay. So all the sphere is only on the selection faces only. Okay. Here you can extend the position of sphere by go to transform tab here. 
and then I set Z to 5 probably like 20 okay we need to animal back jiggle plan effector more as root and side divide for our inner okay so here the dynamic bubble tutorial i hope you like it this tutorial hopefully you guys learn some cool techniques as always make sure you to check out other tutorial in my channel don't forget to hit subscribe button and hit notification bell to get the latest update from me take care guys and we'll see you next time